mind when I use the words chilled, sweet, creamy, and refreshing. I don't know about you, but I think of ice cream. I love ice cream. Um, I'm sure we've all had those the same things where, whether you know you've gone through a breakup or, <laughs> or it's just a hot day and we want something cool and refreshing, but um, we all have those insane ice cream cravings. Um, according to Lisa Mosey, who wrote an article for LifeScript, each person eats about 23 quarts of ice cream every year. That's about one of those half gallon things every month. That's a lot of ice cream. Um, well, I'm gonna inform you how to make ice cream and as well as uh, some history and nutrition and labeling of ice cream. I'm gonna start out showing you. This is just a little craft I used to do as a kid. You get some ice, about half of a gallon of ice. Um, and you put about six to eight tablespoons of salt in the ice. And then in a different bag, you put about half a cup of milk. Um, along with about half a teaspoon of vanilla. You can do other flavorings, I'm just going to do vanilla ice cream. Um, then about two tablespoons of sugar. Make sure it's sealed really well. You don't want any of the salt to be getting in it. <laughs> That'd be gross. Um, then you just stick it in there. And seal it up. Then you just shake it around. It's best if you have like a blanket or a towel because it's really cold. It's ice, obviously. Um, you shake it around for about five to ten minutes. I don't really have time to do that right now, so. Um, let's see. Some history. Um, in 1984, President Ronald Reagan, Ronald, Ronald Reagan designed July as the National Ice Cream Month, and the third Sunday of July is the National Ice Cream Day. Um, this year it falls on the 19th, so I thought that was pretty cool. I didn't know there was an actual ice cream day. Um, <laughs> um, a wide variety of ice cream in the late 19th century led to new creations. In 1874, the American Soda Foundation shop and the profession of the soda jerk, I wasn't sure at first what that was, but um, it's just the person who serves the soda, um, <laughs> emerged with the invention of ice cream soda. Um, that's just ice cream with carbonated water in it. Um, In response to religious criticism of eating sinfully rich ice cream sodas on Sunday, ice cream emergence so left out the carbonated water and invented the ice cream sundae. Um, in the later 1890s, the name was eventually changed to Sunday, um, spelled S-U-N-D-A-E instead of Y, um, to remove any connection with the Sabbath. Um, some types of ice cream are, are uses Carrageen, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's, um, they use it to improve texture and thickness, and it's a type of seaweed. I thought that was kind of gross and interesting, so. <laughs> um, um, in those, uh, um, in the cartons of ice cream, you know, I don't know if you've ever done this, but it's, sometimes, you know, you put it in the back of the freezer and you forget about it, and it gets all icy, and. I don't know, you kind of get flavors of other foods that are in your freezer. Um, one way to avoid that is to put it in like a Ziploc bag, you know, a big Ziploc bag or something, something that's airtight, and that way it'll stay fresh a lot back, like stay fresh a lot longer. Um, let's see. Um, according to Mosing, for just one half of a cup of regular vanilla ice cream um, is expected to be about 260 calories. 15 grams of fat, 5 grams of protein, and 
and 25 grams of carbohydrates and 50 milligrams of cholesterol. That was about um, about the amount that I was making in that bag. Um, and then for labeling, the the words that they use, like on the ice cream cartons that you buy in the store, um, sometimes they can be kind of like I don't know what that means type thing. But the Food and Drug Administration has set a standard to identify the foods, um, so consumers will get a constant, uh, constant produce no matter what brand they buy. And um, when it says it's reduced fat, it means that it's 25% or less, or less total fat than regular ice cream. If it says it's light, then it's at least 50% less fat than, or 33% fewer calories than regular. If it's low fat, um, it has a maximum of three grams of cholesterol per serving. Um, Non-fat is less than five grams of total fat per serving. Um, and super premium has a very low overrun or a, a high fat content and best quality ingredients. Overrun is the, the time that, um, that when they ship it, the amount of time that it's been um, anyways, in conclusion, I hope you um, gain some knowledge about ice cream, and um, I hope you thought it was interesting.